trust me, my, my intent here, if you were clapping loud before, when you hear this, is not to keep you long. <laughs> Has this not been a wonderful night or what? Because music, whether you have a great singing voice like some of these people, or you sing like a frog like me, uh, or you play an instrument, whatever the case may be, music is just another one of the many ways that God reveals himself to us. It's a beautiful thing. Matter of fact, scripture even says, speaking to the redeemed, to us, to the church, he says that he will rejoice, God now, he will rejoice over you with singing. How great is that? So, so think about that for a minute. So the, the Holy Spirit guides, comforts, directs us. Jesus, well, he's over there, according to Hebrews, he's over there doing what? He's over there interceding for us. And my heavenly Father is singing over me. <laughs> I, that's just a phenomenal thought. Let me see if I can remember this quote. There was an obscure, relatively unknown composer named Johann Sebastian Bach who said, the aim and final end of all music, you hear that now? All music. What did I just say? All music. Say it one more time. All music. I didn't hear the band up here. The, uh, of what? The man's not getting it too good over here. We got to put it to them in language they understand. All music on four. One, two, three, four. All music. Much better. See? See how, see how that goes? <laughs> the aim and final end, final end of all music is the glory of God and refreshment of the soul. So all I want you to do, and Mike said it earlier, so I'm just repeating what Mike said. When you hear the Tampa Band or Songsters, and you hear Clearwater, and the Band and Songsters, St. Pete, and you hear all of this going on, and maybe you're singing along. How many of y'all have been finding yourselves singing along a lot of this, okay? Remember, every time you do that, every time you hear music, every time you sing a song, bandsmen, we've got to be careful. Every time we play, pick up our horns, it is to the glory. Of God. And that's the only way it's going to reach its potential. It's the only way. So when you hear this music and you appreciate this music, and I think you have, I mean, bandsmen, songsters all over the place, me as one humble poor officer, thank you so much for what you're, the time you gave up today and the effort you've put into this. But when you hear music, and it, it's maybe it's tomorrow morning, sitting, sitting in this chapel or wherever you go, Tampa, St. Pete, you're singing that song, whatever's on the program. Remember, you're singing it to the glory of God. And when you sing it to the glory of God, let yourself just imagine God, however you picture Him, smiling over you. Smiling over you. He loves you that much. He loves each and every one of us. Playing music, and I'm going to be done. Playing music is a lot like our holiness walk, is You know we had to go there, right? There's no PC right here. We had to go, you know. Our holiness walk, are we perfect? No. We make mistakes, right? Well, if you're, if you're paying any kind of attention to the first trombone sitting right here, we make mistakes. Okay? <laughs> we make mistakes. But God loves us, and when we come to him, he smiles, and he says to us, it's okay. I've got you. And one day we're going to hear him say to every one of us, well done. I wonder if he's going to sing that. What do you think? Maybe. Well done. Good and faithful service. Servant, I'm sorry. Thank you for your attention. I'm going to now turn it over to, I don't know who I'm turning it over to. Who am I turning this over to? The band. Drill it. Okay. Thank you for your attention, everybody.